Welcome back to Pink or Tarot. My name is Z and this is a general, actually this is a bonus love reading for all Aries for October 2019. Keep in mind these messages are very, very general. They may or may not resonate with everyone, but if they do, feel free to thumbs up the video, leave a nice comment and also subscribe. Also make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss any readings. So Aries, let's get right into your love reading. So you guys have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine with this four of pentacles. Also, I'm using the Wheel of the Year um, tarot deck to clarify the romance angel cards. So it's a lot different from the traditional um, decks. So with this four of pentacles, so this could be you, Aries, or the person that you guys are dealing with. It's like someone's kind of like keeping things to their self with this four of pentacles maybe this person is like kind of stubborn kind of like stand standoffish with this uh, four of pentacles especially with this guy in this photo it's almost like he's like running running away from something so maybe this is you Aries or the person that you're dealing with it's like you guys need to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so this could actually be for someone who's single it's like this is how you are like single kind of being standoffish like keeping things keeping um things to yourself with this four of pentacles maybe you don't really want to move um into like a new connection so you also have engagement with the two of rods so it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so with the, these two people um this couple right here in this photo so it's like they're working really good together like this is a good pair like a good match like they're working together so maybe this is someone looking at you as um like a good partner and so there's engagement um it's like someone wants to commit to you or it's like whatever this um this partnership right here is going to lead to engagement so it's like your um love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment it's like someone wants to commit to you or you want to commit to someone because you see them as like a good partner like a good fit for you so you also have flirt, extend your lighthearted en energy to others with the three of wands. So this three of wands is like different from the, um, the usual deck. So with this one, it's like some of you guys could just be, um, looking at someone from, from afar with this three of wands, or some of you guys could just be waiting for like a new connection. But, um, with this one, with this flirt card and the three of wands, it's like you guys are maybe watching someone from afar. So this is like encouragement to extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you also have getting to know each other with this, the lover's card. So it says, as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So this, the, with the lover's card, um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, but um, with this getting to know each other, this is like um, two people who, um, it's like two people who nurture each other. Um, it's like you guys want to know about each other. So this is like a good partnership or relationship with the lover's card. Or this could be someone that you guys are, um, this could be someone new that you guys to meet. It's like you guys enjoy getting to know each other. So let's get into the tarot spread real quick. We have the two of cups. The Two of Swords, the King of Cups, the Temperance card, the Ace of Swords, the Moon card, the Nine of Swords, the Magician, and the Knight of Rods. So with this Two of Cups, this could be like a new connection that you guys are in. This is definitely like a soulmate connection, most definitely. With the Temperance card being underneath it, this is like a soulmate connection. Um, some of you guys could be doing with the Sagittarius. But with this, this is like a um, harmonious relationship where it's like, you know, mutual feelings for each other. So you also have the two of swords. So it's like someone's at a crossroads. I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you're not really, you're not really sure if this is your soulmate. So some of you guys could be done with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But it's almost like someone's not really sure if this is their soulmate. So you might, you may be, um 
kind of worried about the situation. This could be the person that you're dealing with. It's like someone has um, anxiety about this connection. So like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with the um, a Sagittarius with this temperance card. But this is like a soulmate connection where this, um, you know, there's peace and harmony in this connection. So, with this Ace of Swords being in the middle of your reading, it's like someone receives clarity, maybe about this connection um, with this with this Ace of Swords. It's like someone receives clarity. Um, but like I said, like some of you guys could have anxiety or there could have been some kind of deception. But this is just like um, false fears and illusions that someone may have. This could be the King of Cups in this case. But it's like someone definitely has some kind of anxiety, especially with this Nine of Swords. But um, it's like after someone receives clarity, it's like they're going to take action. Someone's going to take action within this connection. And so someone, someone may come in with the offer. It could be the King of Cups that comes in with the offer after they receive clarity about the situation. But like I said, this could be vice versa. Like it could be um, you or the other person or someone that you're dealing with um, with this general love reading. So, but someone definitely takes action within this connection. So this person may come in with the offer. Um, it could be coming from a fire sign. But like I said, it could be the king of cups in this situation. But it doesn't have to be a water sign. This is the king of cups is someone who's um, secure in their emotions. So this is someone who may want to offer, um, make an offer, um, make an offer. Or this could be you, um, Aries, wanting to make an offer to the king of cups. So yeah, that is all the messages that I have. Hopefully these messages resonate with someone. Feel free to leave a comment below. Also make sure you thumbs up the video. Also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any readings.